Hello everyone, this is Shannon for Waffle Flower Crafts. Today we're going to play with emboss resist and liquid watercolors. This is a really fun and easy technique and I love the unique results you get from this. I'm going to start today's project with the Grateful Stamp Set. This gorgeous set was illustrated by Flora Wacott and I just love her folksy, whimsical style. I have an A2 panel here of watercolor paper and I'm going to take the three center images, the two pot holders and the cutting board and mount them on some acrylic blocks. Before I stamp, I'm going to put down some anti-static powder. And because I'm doing heat embossing, I'm going to ink up my stamps in Versamark ink. I'm going to make sure they're really well inked up and then just stamp them kind of randomly over the entire panel. It's difficult for you guys to see the stamped ink once it's done, but in real life I can actually see where I've stamped one image before. If this is tricky for you, just do it in sections, kind of stamp a, a couple and then heat emboss and then stamp a few more. That might be easier if you're having a hard time seeing the images. There's no reason why you have to do it all at once like I did. So I went and stamped the whole entire panel with those images and now I'm just pouring on some pink embossing powder and I'm going all, making sure I'm getting all the little bits. I do have a tiny bit of embossing powder stuck where I don't want it. So I'm just going to grab a paintbrush here and kind of wipe that off. That's a really handy trick whenever you have embossing powder where you don't want it. Now I'm just going to heat set this. Make sure when you're careful when you're heat setting to get everywhere. This is a large area of heat embossing so you want to make sure you really check and make sure you heat set all that embossing powder. So these are the liquid watercolors I'll be using today. They're by Tailored Expressions. I'm using Cookie Monster, Lemon Meringue, and Blue Corn. First I'm going to spray my panel down with some water, so I'm spraying all over here. And I was mindful when I picked those three colors to pick colors that I knew would mix nicely together. Obviously blue and yellow kind of mix in creative green, and the, the um, really pretty Cookie Monster blue and the darker blue of the Blue Corn will mix and make a nice kind of rich blue as well. So be, be mindful of the colors you pick for this technique because you don't have a lot of control of where they go so and you're going to have lots of mixing which is kind of the beauty of it but just make sure that you're picking colors that don't mix and make mud like uh, red and green would make kind of a mud. Don't pick those complementary colors. So I started by placing Cookie Monster around all the pot holders and the cutting board. Then I moved on to the yellow and placed it inside all those stamped images. And now I'm moving on to my dark color, which is the blue corn. I tried to not use too much of this color because this was really dark and rich. And I actually did get probably a little bit more, put a little bit more of this color on my panel than I really wanted to. Now I'm taking a brush and kind of helping these colors move around a little bit here, just kind of move moving that liquid watercolor and water around. I do have a little cup of water on the left side and a towel to kind of clean my brush frequently because I don't want to over mix. I still want to keep these colors um, separated a bit. I want, I'm okay with some mixing, but I don't want this to just become one big green panel. I still want you to still see distinctive yellow, that, that medium blue and that dark blue still. So now I am continuing to kind of mix these colors together and just kind of spread them out. I do leave a little portions of these stamped images white. So like some of the leaves and some of the petals, I'll leave a little white. I just like that little pop of um, contrast, a little bit of white there just kind of makes everything um, a little bit more interesting to look at. And I'm sure you've noticed that I didn't really put any of that yellow. Some of it kind of broke away, but I didn't place any of that yellow in the background. I tried to keep the, oh, the yellow um, where the images was just to or were just to keep, make them stand out a little bit more So once I've kind of got this panel the way I like it I'm going to set this aside and let this dry completely Now I'm going to move on to stamping my sentiment. I have a piece of vellum here I'm going to load it into my corner of my misty and I have the bold sentiments stamp set I'm going to use this really beautiful hello sentiment just mount it in my misty here I am going to do some heat embossing, so I'm going to put down some anti-static powder first, and I am going to ink up this stamp with Versamark ink. Now that I've stamped the sentiment, I'm going to pour on my embossing powder. I'm going to use that pink embossing powder again, and once I get my heat gun good and hot, I will heat set that embossing powder. I went ahead and trimmed down that vellum sentiment down to a strip just to kind of frame the hello a little bit. I also trimmed 
just about a little bit less than a quarter inch off on the panel. This just allows you to see a little bit of that beautiful pink card base behind it. I'm going to now um, double up this vellum because as you can see with one layer it's hard to read the sentiment but with two layers it's a little bit easier to read it um, or distinguish it from the background. So I'm just going to fold the sentiment strip over and then I will grab my score tool here and just increase that vellum. And now I'm going to position my vellum where I want it and then fold that little overhang back. That little, um, a little bit over a quarter inch of vellum there, that's going to be what I'm going to attach my vellum to my panel with. So I'm going to grab a little piece of tape here. I'm actually going to just use a little piece of micropore tape just to hold that little fold of vellum down. And now I'm going to grab some liquid glue. This is Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Adhesive and just kind of place it all over the backside of this watercolor panel. Uh, lots of glue will kind of help uh, fix any little warping that you might have. So I just have a slight bit of warping. So I'm just going to hold my panel here till it sets. And once I have that glue is set, my card is done. And I'll hold the card up to the camera so you can get a good look at all these details. I really love this technique. It's really fun and freeing. I could never paint this loosely. Uh, that's why this technique really is fun because it just kind of lets me let go and really embrace the beauty of watercolor and having it mix. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you want any more information on the products I use, please visit Waffle Flower and you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.